Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Rachel Klein and I will be your presenter today. Uh, today we are working in the membership module and we're going to talk about two specialty reports that we have available for you. One is the anniversary report and the other is the birthday report. So all right let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pull up membership. Now we call these specialty reports, canned reports, um, whatever, whatever's logical to you, but there are definitely two reports up here that are preset, really easy to get into and generate. Um, the birthday and the anniversary report, <clears throat> I feel like are two reports that people pull pretty regularly. So you can pull it on a month to month basis if you want. And then, um, like I have a lady who always writes like birthday cards and anniversary cards out to people. Um, so this would be a report that you could run and get that information up, which is a couple clicks each month. You can also use these two reports to uh, pull uh, like an anniversary report. So I know with marriage anniversary, but if you want to pull people celebrating like their 50th anniversary, um, or if you want to pull people that are having a birthday and turning 80 this year or something like that. These reports will also allow you to not only look at a, a specific month, but it's gonna allow you to look at a specific range as well, which can be helpful. So up at the top, I'm gonna click on reports and export. We're gonna do birthday first, so I'll click birthday. And then you have the option whether you just need a report you want to generate labels or you're wanting to email these people. Today we're just going to talk about the report itself, uh, but running labels and sending emails, the first step is always going to be the same. That's going to be the criteria or who you're wanting to pull for this report. Um, but then step two is that's where it gets different. So that's where you're going to email them instead of printing the report or you're going to generate labels instead of printing the report. All right, let's go to reports and export up at the top. And because we're going in through the specialty report or this canned report, it's already going to have the birth date field for us here in the select a membership field box. So that just saves you a couple click clicks. And it's also going to be set to is in month. That's always going to be the default when you come through the birthday report like this. Then you can easily specify what month you want the report on. So by default, it's always going to be set to the current month that we're in. So I'm gonna leave this on August, but if you are always kind of working ahead for the next month, you could simply hit the down arrow and swap these down to September, and that would give you all the birthdays that occur in the month of September. Okay, um, you can also do a range. So if you just want to see everybody in your database that has a birthday, you could do is in month of January through December. Then anybody who has a birthday month filled in, it's going to pop up on the report itself. Okay, you also have some other operators you can choose. So you could say is after. So I want everybody born after a particular date. You could specify that. You could pull people who are born on a particular date. Between is a good option. This is going to give you that range. So if I want to look at people born between a certain year time frame, you could do that. Is incomplete. This is helpful if you want to see whose birthday fields aren't filled out in its entirety. So maybe who's missing the year on their birthday. You could do is before is blank this would be another way to get people who don't have a birthday filled in or you could do is in month back to that first operator there so we're going to stick to the current month we're going to add the selection so right now we have birthday is in the month of august now you could also do an and here and you could say i want people who have a birthday in august and if we do age we could do is greater than 20 if we wanted or something like that. So that's going to allow you to put more than one criteria there. Okay. So we're going to get rid of that and we're going to just stick with this. You can specify your members or visitors like normal. Okay. 
All right, so right now our criteria is birthday in the month of August. We're not worried about accounts or giving, so we're skipping those, and we're going to go to sort. Right now the sort field is going to default to birthday, which is what we want, but you can specify here if you want to choose the order that your dates are going to print out in. You can do year, month, day, specifically chronological order, month, day, year, or you could do month, day only, the year doesn't affect. I'm going to choose this because I don't think we're worried about the year. I just want to know who has a birthday in August, and I want it sorted from August 1st to August 30th, August 31st, however many days are in August, and then um, regardless of the year they were born, I strictly want it one and going through the last day of the month. And then I'm going to hit next. And that's going to bring me to step two. And I can see real easily that I have four people that have a birthday in August. And if I stick with the basic report and the basic columnar report template, when I hit print, it is going to give me, by default, their name and their birthday. And as you can see, it's working its way up through the month. If you don't want to see what the year is, simply close out over here in the top right, uncheck include year on birthday, and if we hit print again, you can see that now the year is removed. If you also want to include their age on the report, you can. You would just need to choose basic, make a new report, and then select that age column along with the birthday and the name column. But when running the birthday report, that template basic columnar report is going to do just that. It's going to give you their name and their birthday by default. Okay. All right. So that's the birthday report. Very simple. And then the anniversary report operates exactly the same. So if we go reports and export, anniversary, we'll choose reports directory export here. And now marriage date is what pops up. And you're going to have the same operators as you had with birthday. So the date is going to function exactly the same. You could do is before, is after, is on, is blank, is incomplete, is between, is not. You have all those same options here to get what you would like. We're going to leave it for August for this example. Add to selection. Um, and then if you wanted to, there isn't a years married field like there is age for birthday, but you could also pair this with marriage date is between, and then you could put in a date range. So if you wanted people that were married 50 years or more, you would have to calculate back 50 years and then use that date or that year as your additional marriage date criteria to include. Okay. Over here to the right, you can check or uncheck members and visitors, say OK. Here's that criteria. Again, we're not worried about accounts or giving and pledging criteria. So we're going to go up to the sort tab and sort field one. Again, it's going to be filled in for marriage date. And then down at the bottom, you're going to specify what order you want to use for those date fields. So we did month, day only for birthday. We can choose that again, or you can do year, up to you. We'll hit next. And as we can see quickly, we just have one family here that has a marriage uh, date in August. Again, if we leave it on basic and that basic columnar report template, when we print the report, because we went through the anniversary report specifically, it's going to give us the couple's name, their marriage date, and by default, it is going to calculate out their years married. Keep in mind down here at the bottom, it says years married based on the date of 8-31-2024. So it's going to calculate their years married based on the end of the month. Because we ran it for the month of August. All right. Now, if you go to run a birthday report or an anniversary report and you get to the preview of the report itself and it's not giving you the corresponding information like the birth date or the marriage date, then that tells me when you went or began to run the report, you just went up here through regular reports. If you want to see this basic columnar report, 
reflect the information about either the anniversary or the birthday, you need to make sure you go through here or here to get that information. Now that's not to say you can't create your own basic report that includes that, you can, but if you're wanting to save some clicks and easily get this report for you, you just come through birthday or anniversary up at the top. Over here on the right, you also have that include year on anniversary date, just like you did for birthday. Again, it is up to you if you would like to see the year print or not.